energy, passion, love, positivity, somewhat happiness. Hey guys, welcome back to the Art of Nothing, a uh, podcast about nothing, a podcast about everything, your weekly dose of escapism. Joined by, as always by the man, the myth, the legend, half Simon, half Moldy, Jordan Simi. What's up, baby? Yes, thank you. What's up? How are you? That's good to be one on one again. Yeah, yeah. We were carrying, we were carrying a few, few stragglers, but now we're back. We're back now. Yeah, normally we said this a couple of weeks ago that Normie's lost a bit of his pizzazz. I feel like he's starting to get a bit, bit of a back. You know, I. We've all lost our, you know, somewhat a bit of pizzazz in the past. And it's just how we find it, a way to get it back. It's like um, Austin Powers, the mojo. <laughs> it's the mojo, man. We all lose it. We all lose our pizzazz. And um, I met, I've met a couple of people who have lost their pizzazz okay. and they can't get it back. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Like who? <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting cut. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll reset. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just. We'll, I'll blurp that. Where are we at? <laughs> a minute, you know, it's, <laughs> a minute thirty. Yeah, it's straight off the bat. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, everyone loses their pizzazz here and there, and um, you know, it's just how you find it. How you find a way to get it back. Hey, bro. Love. How's the heart? Man, I'm so happy that you, I'm so happy that you asked me, man, because, you know, I don't want to be come off as like a crazy person or something like that, but Cupid was out and he had a fucking sack full of arrows last night. And I tell you what, he shot me straight at the back. <laughs> so I'll tell you a story, right? You know, everyone knows that um, I'm celibate at the moment. Um, you know, no sex, no wanking, no intimate, you know, anything. Just business. Anyway, so, um, you know, last night, I'm busy, man. Busy, busy, busy. So last night I go up to have my, um, go up to Virtus. Shout out Virtus and Bondi. Just opened another gym up there. It's a really nice little spot up there. It's a bit culty, eh? Fuck, it's, it's it, I, I don't know if, if cult's the right word. It's more of, uh, um, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Fucking... Um, Swingery. <laughs> it's like a swingers club for training. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, it's just like locals. What do you call it? Like when you create like a fucking community. Cult. It's a community. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing cult. It's not a cult. Like cults more like it's like you got to sacrifice someone once a week just to keep <laughs> the gods happy. But I'm like it's just a community. You know what I mean? And a lot of the beautiful people train there. A lot of nice people. Um, you know. This, that, this, that. <laughs> and um, anyway, so I went last night because, you know, it's, it's Valentine's Day, but there's one thing that I don't miss is that, and that's training and getting after it. So it's about 5.30 on the dot. I, I, I start jogging up and um, I jump in the sauna and I'm doing sauna ice bath, you know, 10 minutes on, two minutes on, um, just back and forth, um, you know, just thinking of my thoughts and, yeah, this little shorty walks in with her friend and I'm not thinking anything of it because my mind's in a totally different space. But so I'm interacting with these, you know, shorties, these females. And um, I start to sort of like catch a little vibe with one. And, you know, I was like, oh no, like something's happening here, you know. Anyway, <laughs> Cupid, Cupid's got me, guilty. So anyways, afterwards we all go for like a pizza and... I'm just chatting. I'm just like, I'm liking her vibes. I'm liking her energy, you know? So anyways, I've, so we just like, we just sat for pizza and just like chatted for a couple of hours. And this is on Valentine's day too. And I'm like trying to get this arrow, arrow, Cupid's arrow out of my back. I'm like, you, you little bastard, you got me. Um, on, on, all, on all days. On like, all days, man. Yeah. Just ran, just a random, it was my first time at the gym there up at the new one. And um, so we were going to catch up this weekend. Um, What's your Instagram? Come on, man. It's not about that. <laughs> she actually really doesn't like, she's not active on Instagram. Oh, that's different for you. Yeah. So it's, not, it's nice, you know, mm. someone that's, um, you know, a bit trustworthy. <laughs> Anyways. But um, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice, man. It's nice. So uh, what does she do for bread? Uh, she's a, uh, I don't know if I want to say it because like. Sex worker. I've, no. That's, that's what I'm hearing. What? R reading nah, between the lines. No, 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 no. She's, um. Uh, I don't. I don't want to say it on here, just in case. Like, I don't. Can I have like, three guesses? Of course. 
And yeah, if it's correct, you have to say. Of one. course, yeah. So you've already written that sex worker. Um, Hedris, what is a sex worker, though? No. Yeah. No, well, no, 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 no. Works for sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, hairdresser. No. Waitress. No. She's in accounts. No. No, 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 no none of them. Just a little low key thing. She's cool. she's a cool chick. I, I don't know. I don't really. It wasn't really so much about her, but it was more so just like. I don't know the opportunity to let someone in a little bit. You know, it was nice. <laughs> it was nice. Is the door open? Is it? Uh like I just think. Is the door open, but you still got that little latch on? You like you just sort of peeking through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. But it was it was just like Valentine's Day. You know, like went next door, got a little pizza. You know, oh, I haven't smiled that much since my fifth birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that was a couple of years ago, you know what I mean? It what, was nice. What pieces did you get? Man, I got all meats. Ooh. Yeah, just a small all meats. Just a small all meats from uh, Big Pop, uh, Papa John or something. Papa John's. Papa John's. Was that a little one? Fuck, it was nice. Yeah, the little one, bro. Oh, my days. If I, I wanted to roll it up, freeze it, and then sit on the cunt. That's how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it was nice, man. It was nice. <laughs> it was actually a really good pizza, I'm not going to lie. And then, yeah, I was just like, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to like ask her out, like just go for a, a coffee and a 5K swim <laughs> on Sunday morning <laughs> as usual. Um, but it was nice. It was cool. It's cool. It's cool. So you're going to catch up with her this weekend? Yeah, I want to catch up with her. Yeah. And we've been, we've been chatting too, like consistently. Mm. It's just nice, man. It's nice to smile again. It's nice to like, you know, have that. What do they call it? Butterflies? <laughs> How do you reckon you'll fuck this one up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, letting you meet her. You can meet ice once we once we're married and have fifteen kids. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, just just a, just taking it slowly, man. Just trying to be a bit more. Sounds like it. Fell in love after a bit of. It's not love. It's not love. It's just. After a it's slice, nice. It's slice just, of heaven. It's nice. It's just nice to, just to chat to someone again. You know. Mm. The meat lovers is a bit. It was aggressive. Yeah, but aggressive for a first day. Very suggestive. <laughs> well, no, she had her own pizza. Oh, did she? Yeah, like we just got our own because because it was just like, oh, I'm gonna go get pizza. Oh, she, I'm gonna go get pizza, and like, and like the thing that I felt found the most magical about her was she she ate her whole pizza. Mm, so she wasn't trying to hide anything. Yeah, she just ate it, all of it. Yeah, the but, crust in, included too. Ooh, carby. <laughs> and I'm like, holy. <laughs> Someone's shitting tonight and it ain't me. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's all vibes, you know? Love, positivity, happiness. That's good, man. I'm happy for you. You'll fuck it up. Maybe, man. But when when you put that energy out there, it's just Are you are you single yet? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm locked in, bro. Mm, nah. <laughs> you disagree? Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Speaking of uh, hopeless romantics, uh, scrolling through TikTok last night and seeing a little, little something that go viral and you shared it to me. See Norms, boyfriend of the year, early candidate. Talk us through it. It's all a, it's all a facade, as they say. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, I don't fuck with it, eh? <laughs> you do the exact same. Nah, bro. Like he's going through what I went through, like probably like five, six years ago, man. Mm. And it, and it, and it, and it, it, it wears, it wears thin eventually. But it's just like, you know, well, you're, you're you're making fun of love, you know, like you you're taking the piss now. <laughs> you don't like that. I don't know, bro. It's just what's cheesy. That's not my guy. What was cheesier, that or or the, the pizza you had? <laughs> It's just not my guy, bro, you know, and she's just setting unreal expectations. Yeah. But yeah, you're He's right. making us look bad too. That's He's the making, they're, make, they're both making us look bad. And then like, it was funny when I, when you sent it to me, like when, <laughs> I, sent, when I sent it to you, and you go, nah, bro, that's not him. It's not his handwriting. And straight away, <laughs> spelling correct, T's, are, T's are cross, dot, uh, I's are dotted. <laughs> Something there, right? There's nice structure within the sentences. Fuck, and, and then the uh, the vouchers as well, fifty hundred dollar voucher, fifty dollar voucher, and I was like, something ain't right, man. <laughs> something ain't right. <laughs> but you know, whatever, each to their own, bro. Each to their own, and I don't want to hate on another relationship because, obviously, like, yeah, no one was hating on your on your relationship when you were in one. <laughs> uh, it actually shocks me now that I'm. That I'm on the other side of the fence. How much, 
how much pressure and hate that I actually had to carry from you guys. <laughs> Just my happiness, eh? It was like, it was like, a, it was like a burden. <laughs> Give oh, us, like there's Simi, there's Simi happy and just going for lunch with his girlfriend, and then let's fucking throw a spanner in the works and oh, get angry at him for no reason. It wasn't, it wasn't so much you're going for lunch. It was a three hour lunch on a work day. <laughs> yeah, but like, let me do my thing. Let me, <laughs> let me do my shit. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, was, let me do me. We just went to sushi train. I was like, Fuck, how long was this train? <laughs> Ran a sushi train. <laughs> fucking, um, but yeah, that nah, was nice, man. It was nice. Shout out to C Norms, man. Mm. Shout out to C Norms. I, I just, I, 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 I don't know what it is, bro. Not just his situation, but just like, like relationships in general sort of make me a little bit sick. <laughs> yeah, I think on um, Valentine's Day, Magic and you got caught up in the Valentine's hype when we're seeing this girl. No, I literally was sitting in the ice bath like David Goggins. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and then like went into the sauna. You know, and like when you, when the thing is as well, I thought maybe maybe I was going a bit crazy when you spend about three hours in the sauna just in one sitting. Um, <laughs> yeah, lose some weight, holy shit! But yeah, um, nah, nah, definitely not, bro. That was that was Cupid playing up for sure. Mm. So who knows where it go? Who who knows where uh, you know where it'll take us? But what was when you were talking to her? What was your sort of truth to lie ratio? Sometimes I sit across here and I think to myself, why have I put myself in this situation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell a few porkies. Yeah, well, but nah, nah. There was actually none, bro. We're, we're actually really raw with each other, which was... which was a uh, Cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Meat lovers into raw and a bit of cheese. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm, like the, I'm like the adult in the group now, you know. <laughs> this young puppy lover, you've got the boys fucking giddy. <laughs> Josh giddy. <laughs> I, um, you got a bit of Josh Giddy back there. Nah, no, you've got Josh Giddy. The way you play basketball off the court. <laughs> the Josh Giddy of basketball of the crew you, you sitting got, right here. You got Josh Giddy. Tash, <laughs> 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 yeah, she's a Josh Giddy on a night out. She, she, Ice. She wouldn't know what the, She wouldn't know the reference. Um, yeah, no, we're just joking around. <laughs> None of us is Josh Giddy on a night out. Um, but yeah, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's obviously that's it, bro. That's it. You know, like I, I want to. It wasn't like force. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a force interaction. Um, ah. Yeah. It was. Seems organic. Yeah. It was. It was cool. It was. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The eating the crust as well was giving me a bit of an ick. Was she like licking the pizza box too? <laughs> <laughs> Just like tapping all the crumbs. She'd be there. Check that. You know, when his <laughs> chips left, and she's like, if I t- no. if I told you what like what she what, what she, size did she get? How much how much inch was it? A medium. What's a medium up at? Like like probably like intro? probably like this. No, not like a, it's not a big. So it's like six slices, eh? Yeah, but it's it's um like half, it's thick. Half a dozen. Yeah, she ate more than me. Yeah, that's weird. But like, why is that weird? Please, let's. Bro, you're like six. Foot, f- you're six foot five. She's six foot. Oh, same as me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's debunk the situation <laughs> yeah. right now. I'll happily stand on camera and measure myself. <laughs> Yeah, but like, well, put your feet in the shot too, because you'd be <laughs> fucking standing on something. You're not I, like I, I'm six one. Yeah, because your head's always down because you're depressed. <laughs> no, you're you're not six foot. You're five ten, five eleven. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Well, I'll happily measure it. I'm, I'm one eighty three. I'm one eighty three. Nah, if if you came back like fuck, if you came back five eleven, bro. You both and normie too. Like if his head was always up, if he didn't have the old. I'm fuck. I'm I'm six one. Like. That's how tall I am. No, you were way taller than that. But who knows? Who's counting, eh? The steroid stunt growth or? <laughs> I just can't do this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't do this. I'm not on steroids. <laughs> Everyone thinks that, you know? You say it enough, people start to believe it. Yeah. That's but the goal, man. That's always been the goal. <laughs> you know, the thing is, though, with steroids, <laughs> it's like, I find it funny, like, you know, like, you know, this like guys. Are, if, if I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take some like steroids or whatever, people are like, oh no, that's fucking. There's people out there that are like playing up every weekend, doing coke. Yeah, doing coke ziggies, and ciggies, alcohol, vapes. Yeah, that's way worse. And you're doing that way. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I don't know. It's 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 just funny. It's funny. I'd do TRT. Is that uh, testosterone? Oh yeah, testosterone placement therapy. I'd do that. Yeah. So I think horny that- mutters. <laughs> Imagine a bit more testosterone in the kid. Aggressive. 
Yeah, so yeah, I don't need that. You know, uh, Huberman was giving his dog TRT when he got to like eight or nine. He used to like jab him up and he said like his last couple of years of his life, they were really good. So if Huberman's doing it, you know, he's he's the most trusted voice in science at the moment. Yeah. Might we start jabbing up Mallow. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh, oh Malux. <laughs> He's too small. Mm. He'll, pro uh, he'll probably make it till fucking mm, fifteen, sixteen. Hopefully. Yeah, that'll be the dream. Yeah, you got you got to stop feeding him KFC and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what does he love? Oh, like nuggets, like chicken nuggets. Oh. But when he shits the next day, he can like half smell it. Like it smells like you know Macca's ones. Oh, that's fucking. Oh, it's a dog. What do you? Yeah, but like, who's smelling dog? their shits? Oh, you can just smell it coming out. <laughs> 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 Fucking hooking their ass or something. Like. I, I seen this lady. She had, uh, you know, those really big dogs with the Great Danes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, um, the Bondi Public, and there's a little bus stop at the front. I'm yeah. walking past there, and that dog had a shit, bro. I was like, yeah, a baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, this little lady's picking up this thing with a whole fucking grocery bag. It was fucking yuck. Yeah, that's the thing you have to take into consideration when having a big dog is just the size of the shits. Mm. So yeah, if I was to get a dog in the future, it would it would, it would be like a a Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> how how big would Johnny Danger be? If he obviously. <sighs> Yeah, R.I.P. Johnny Danger. He Bro, was I the guy. He was the he was the funniest guy. Yeah, it's. I think he would be. Yeah, I think he would be pretty big, man. Um, I mean, I don't know like the T's and C's of like behind closed doors, but I just think he was just in a in, in like a really good spot, you know. Like, and it's sad, bro. It's sad, man. It was Anzac Day? I remember. Yeah, me too. Remember you at Clove Valley Hotel? Yeah, we're at. Yeah, that was that day. I remember that. I remember we were in um. What's it called? I was Mateo? at Wallara. I was at Mateo when I found out. I remember it so clearly. Yeah, sad day, man. Yeah. R.I.P. So where to go? His last post, he's wearing a white ATR. Yeah, I remember in the gym, yeah. green shirt. Green shirt, I think. Yeah, gym doing those press ups. And yeah, stuff. yeah, I remember. Do we? Remember, I've got the memory of doom. <laughs> Just nothing when it's. I've goes got the back memory of doom. I've got the memory of doom. Whatever you like, ask me anything. 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 Mm. We were talking about just before uh, podcast. We were talking about just before. I was like lucky. Corey had given me some time or else we wouldn't even be friends because me and Chico used to hate Chico, <laughs> Chico was sweet I used to hang out with Chico all the time no, no, he used to you, hate you, you, you he prolonged hate the greatness <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know what I mean like sometimes Whoa. it's just like <laughs> Steiny you know like Steiny going into mm. Nalk or like fucking Steve will do it you know what I mean like <laughs> remember you used to always try to get on the vlogs like oh can I jump on the vlog like no never ever <laughs> Normie would be like Chuck Simi on the vlogs he's funny as and Ice was that like like Randall off recess, like no, no, no. Like looking Randall. wise, looking wise. <laughs> Randall off recess, one of the goats. <laughs> well, oh. Yeah, I wish it'd be interesting, eh? Like if never, I don't know. I always think about stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I never really like to dwell on the past. You know what I mean? Like everything happens for a reason. Mm. Hundred. I was thinking about the the other day, like the first time I h proper hung out with Normie, like I won 20k on the pokies. And the only reason I hung out for him was because I was offering to help him to move. And then he's like, yeah, yeah sweet, help. And then we ended up having a beer. Oh, yeah. That was the start of it. Could yeah. all have been different. You got to take those, eh? You got to take those wins. <laughs> yeah, 20k is nice. 20k, that's a fucking win, bro. Yeah. I see, Um, I was reading the other day and a friend told me who's in the space that there might be clamping down on gambling ads pretty soon yeah um you're gonna need to happen especially on tv and stuff it's pretty pretty rough have you seen dabble blow up in america no have they blown up recently probably in the last two months they've got more um people on there than they do in australia in two months crazy yeah i was talking to uh, M, who does all the stuff for it yeah those like i'll just go oh, what happened she's sort of telling me behind the scenes it's pretty mad yeah that's cool i mean people want to gamble bro mm. people want to win let the boys play. But what, what is it costing you? <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> it's like fucking every every day you gamble. You know what I mean? Good you're life. gambling. You're gambling your life away when you go into your nine to five and sit there and work for fucking thirty dollars, thirty five, forty dollars an hour. You know what I mean? Mm. What's the difference between putting forty dollars in a fucking betting on a horse and winning big? That's the worst advice you could give anyone. But like, life's a gamble, baby. <laughs> You know what I mean? Gambling with heartbreak every day when you meet a new girl. 
Nah, fuck that shit. No one's gonna break my heart no more, man. <laughs> Never again. Nah, you're too much of a softy, bro. You just Never wanna, again. You, you man. wanna? You wanna? Never laugh. again, bro. I told you, it's all calculated these days. Calculated risk. <sighs> That's it, man. I look at everything as numbers. <laughs> <laughs> the rain man. The rain man of this. What's some? What's some of the calculated? What are some of the things you calculate before going into a date or relationship now? Okay, besides so um, followers number following numbers please can we please have a normal conversation with this guy so i can being interviewed by a bloody andrew tate yeah <laughs> i i don't calculate it's not calculating them it's calculating myself what are you calculating emotions? am i am i ready to enter this relationship am i am i willing to look after her and provide for her and protect her and majority of the time it's not no it's not yet it's not the right time yet have you ever done that uh back in the day the old semi did but yeah no so when i'm in a position to do that i'll you need to you just need that a real rich chick bro so nah, i've cruise. done i've done i've done that it's not it's it's not that what's the downside of dating rich chicks there's no downside but it's just as just who i am i just don't little rich thing older recently divorced that's right up your alley no 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 makes me sick is anything in a relationship making me sick <laughs> i just just relationships in general yeah, well, i mean I, I i hope to find one one day but mm. yeah it's just not the right time you're just talking about a girl like at the start it would the be podcast. nice it would be nice what's called carbonator okay. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be nice yeah it's it's a nice but it's a nice situation but Carbs are us. <laughs> yeah. <Sorry. laughs> I haven't even looked at my notes. Those are the best podcasts. That was the intro, man. man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, dropping some merch uh, next week. Grateful merch. Back in full swing. Let me just plug in. Get, gr get grateful about it. You know what I mean? What are you grateful for? I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for yeah, our time why, together. Why, though? I'm grateful for, I mean, I'm grateful for our friendship. I'm grateful for your energy. Grateful for, you know, Tash. I'm grateful for, you know, having somewhere to, to go to sort of like, you know, be around a good a good energy, a good vibe. So What's the catch? I'm trying to get my dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no catch, man. There's no catches with me, bro. Yeah, there's always you know a catch mean? to me. That's there's the not, thing. there's not. I'll ask. There's if, if there's something catch. that I want, I'll ask for it. If there's something that I need, I'll ask for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So can I borrow twenty dollars for lunch? <laughs> nah, but no, nah, that's just that's what I'm, you ask me what I'm grateful for, and then you go and fucking now I'm ungrateful for it. Now I'm just like this is not where I want to be. This is not the energy I need to be around. The art of thirst traps. Obviously, he started playing the game yesterday. The no shirt, the titty bear. Uh, what's the strategy going into something like that? Can I tell you the the the, the mental mindset? Oh, that's, the mindset? That's where it starts. So okay, so what? Probably like five six weeks ago. Uh started jabbing <laughs> this i fucking I can't, I can't i can't do it i can't do it well, what i'm okay about six seven weeks ago i was like pretty fat and i was i would have been about 130 kgs and i made like i was just looking in the mirror like had tits you know like you could have milked me if you wanted to you know what i mean like if a, like it, it just it just wasn't a, it wasn't a good environment i was fucking yeah you know and my you, mate my mates were calling me as it is today yeah I've, I've got wide hips yeah yeah why is that um <laughs> i don't know man just a big trunk i guess <laughs> very hippie <laughs> yeah for a front row a couple of hucker that's for sure <laughs> but i was saying this for one right like um you know my mates were calling me fat People were commenting when we were podcasting, like, fuck, Simmy's put on some weight and <laughs> Chico was giving me shit. And I thought, you know, and I was like, fuck, this is, you know, it's pretty, it was pretty hard. Like I was, uh, it was a bit embarrassing to go on, like, you know, go on the podcast, have a bit of a fat face and just feel really like down about myself physically, which then rolled into mentally. And <laughs> it's just... It's just it's, hard, man. It's, hard. <laughs> it's fucking hard, man. But I, I then I made a conscious decision then and there when I was looking in the mirror. I said, "Hey, hey, you fat cunt! Like this is enough." Yeah. And I think that was more so the haircut that was throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Holy Sam one Mad Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, bro. Yeah, true. So there, everything was all off, bro. So I, did, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to go train twice a day, eat healthy, you know, still play up a little bit on the weekends, but never miss a day of getting after it and not eating shit when I was hungover. Mm. So I just got after it, bro. And then, and then Valentine's Day was there. And I thought to myself, fuck, I look good. You know what I mean? And it could have, it could not, it could have been today. It could have been yet, like day before yesterday, you know. Mm. But I thought to myself, I'm gonna post this because I just was like, I wanted to post it, and because now I'm, I, you know, people calling me fat and ugly and stuff like that. But I'm good looking fat. <laughs> but I lose that now. I'm just good looking. You know what I mean? There's there's cunts out there that that putting me down. Yeah. That are ugly and fat. You know what I mean? And then like, and I'm just a confident person, and that's that's purely become off the back of my training and feeling good about myself. Yeah, you got one of the great fronts. No, it's not. There's no front. <laughs> There's no front. It's all front. I can't deal with this guy, man. This is like, we need to get the energy right, bro. There's no, there's no, there's no fronts. This is me now, man. Uh, you're Bob Mannering, I'm Dana. This is me now, bro. So you're being Bob Mannering right now. <laughs> you're Bob Mannering. No way, man. No, no, I'm Jordan Simi, bro. But yeah, so. And this is what comes into the business business side of things like it does help like I, I think i think you feel good you look good like yeah sorry you look good you feel good you move well yeah just everything around you starts to change when you just internally feel confident do you know i was um like bro no drinking has been big for me i feel like good most of the time now like i don't remember i don't have that we used to have those lulls where i was still like crash like three or four in the arvo yeah yeah, you were talking about it on the car on the way home, but I feel way better not drinking. And I would like, say you, you drink every weekend. Yeah. And then a little bit dusty on the day after that. So there's like 24 hours gone. That's Plus I don't days. sleep for two days. <laughs> so say, let, let's go, there's two days there. But I'm fasting at the same time as well. That's 104 days that you're like either drinking or dusty. And then that's three months. So basically a quarter of your year, Q1, is wasted either drinking or being hungover. It's not a waste though. Isn't that a waste? No. Waste. I don't look at it like that. Well, how do you look at it? Well, I mean, let's take this into consideration, right? So, you know, go on to one of these rips in Q1. In what, Q1. <laughs> Q1. Um, and I go, and, I, I go rip into, you know, go rip into with one of the boys for his birthdays. And I sit next to this guy who's on the, who's one of the, um, he's on the board of the National Art School. Cool. And then he introduces me to, so like, I'm not going to like, these aren't normal you know, like people that I'm around, uh, you know, businessmen. So, so that's one time. So there's 102 days left. But I mean, if I didn't go, <laughs> if I didn't go on that one time, you know what I mean? You can't pick and choose what days you rip in. <laughs> yeah. You rip in or you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if I didn't go then, then maybe <laughs> things would be different. Maybe, you know, so, you know, like, you know, obviously you're going to go, fuck, man, you know, I probably should stop ripping in this hard. But then you get those little wins, man, and you go, Phew. If I, if I chose, if I said no, but now everything's in a good space. Now this is when you go, <laughs> I'm this back. is when I stop ripping in yeah. and I focus on like these little wins. Question, if you substitute all those nights out for early morning trainings, could you potentially have met someone as successful? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Because all the, all the naughtiest people are the most successful. Yeah, I reckon... <laughs> I know, I know what you're name, saying. Name I, one I billionaire that wakes up and goes gets after it in the morning. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, they do have that element of extreme, like, about them. Like, if they get into business and then when they party, they party hard and they got money. Like, I do understand that. Yeah. But there's also, like... No, of course you're going to meet some fucking nerds that are what, running at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> but it won't be me. <laughs> I, th I think it's the best place. Cause you met a girl in the gym. Endorphins are high. No, you're right. Place. You're right. No, yeah. no. Yeah, of, of course. Of course. You can't... You can't, like... The ripping in doesn't like doesn't choose you like you don't choose it, it chooses you. <laughs> and it's fucking You've been there, you've you've seen it, man. It's front you've had front row seats to a rip in. <laughs> it's it's fun. Mm. But yeah, it now now everything's in a good space. Now it's time to like pull back a bit. I've got a wedding this weekend. Just picked up a fresh little number, linen suit, navy blue, mm. um stripe, striped shirt underneath, no tie. I'll give, I'll give you credit. Well, this is probably your, your compliment for the day is... <laughs> Just give me the compliment. You don't need to say <laughs> if it's for the day or not, you know? You get one a day, a week. No, nah, you did yourself well for someone 
who doesn't like for what you earn to how you dress. You, Thank you. You look immaculate. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I feel if you you just if you leave the house looking like a scrub, then then you'll you'll feel like a scrub during the day. Mm. Dress a million, make a million. <laughs> When's this million coming? It's coming, man. I'm telling you, man. You can't make... Rome wasn't built in a day. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, hey, hey. And that's where the business side of things comes into play. I've got a business idea for us. Oh, it's amazing. Drop it now? Do we talk about it or do we be about it? Both. <laughs> well, we can talk about it. So this is the business idea, right? I can feel my life now changing from a partier to this... You know, and, and it's not, as I say, not normal partying. It's, it's fucking exhilarating. You know, these are the some of the best parties you'll ever go to. Some of the best. I was just partying with NFL players on the weekend. You know what I mean? But now I can feel this. I don't want to say tra transition and be disrespectful, but I can feel it happening. And now we're going into this health space and, you know, just this lifestyle space and the business uh the business idea that i've ice baths <laughs> ice baths but i was gonna say it again i was gonna say what i said at the start again but mm. i stopped um no but the business idea that i've had that i've got is it's a subscription model do i keep going yep so you know we've spoken about it before so if you listen to the content, yeah, keep going. No, but it's it's uh, it's like a men's mental health, um, physical health space, um, where you have people come in that are like the top of their game, wherever it's like fucking psychology or phys like uh, fitness or whatever it may be, and then physics. They could be physics. It could be. That's not. That's the the, the the doors are fucking endless. <laughs> There's so many doors that you can walk through in this space that when you sign up, it's like you know Men's Health magazine. It's like that, but more interaction, mm. more knowledge, changing all the time. Um, plant based mold, moldy rands. Uh, he runs a moldy group for that for boys back home, and they're yeah. all in the mount on the weekend. And I drove past them. It was, it was pretty cool. He and invited talk, me. He invited me to come to one. I talked to some of the boys on the plane after they come sit hello, and they said, "Oh, like a lot of it's about healing and past trauma Sorry. and using like their moldy heritage to like realign themselves." But they were pretty pumped afterwards. Eh? They felt good. Yeah, I think. Was it kind of like that, or just no, no, style? no? It's not like that. It's it's more so. Um, it's, I just want to create a space for men to come and it's just all like interaction stuff. So there'll be an app. It's a subscription model too. So, you know, <laughs> subscription <a> swingers club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can meet chicks and you can have sex. No, um, no, it's just men only. It's, uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll talk to you more about it off air, but it's just knowledge. It's knowledge. Really? It's knowledge and, and, and time and space. What are you going to teach? It's not me teaching. I'm oh. creating the I'm creating the waiting room for people to meet, <laughs> to go through different doors. You put your keys in this bowl, please, and then <laughs> <laughs> fucking horny cunt over here. He's <laughs> all he's talking about is swinging and sex. Uh, Super Bowl weekend, obviously one of the great sporting events, the greatest sporting event in the world in terms of marketing, revenue numbers, all that sort of stuff. You're on the boat partying on on the Monday. It's starting to become big down here, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. It was cool. It's like a write-off day for a lot of people. Like they take time off work and stuff. Yeah, it's like it was. It was actually pumping in some of the places I went to. It's not too big, but the thing is, I, I look at it, I'm like, fuck, you know, like just the way that the days are done, bro. Like, you know, NRL, AFL, ARU could like learn a thing or two from it. Mm. But yeah, just the you're just seeing fully grown men, like businessmen. <laughs> getting fucked up on a Monday mm. but the boat was fun the boat was really really fun it was a good time who was Free. that was that a tab tab thing it was tab uh culture kings and NFL oh it's a cool little lineup yeah so there was uh free piss free food and not like just like willy nilly piss it was like everything behind the bar oh and it was all free but if it was a Saturday see you later game, pff, over. game over but Monday just ripping in on a Monday nothing to do after <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean everyone's at work no one's getting on it Back to a kick on somewhere, eh? Yes. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and there's just no female, like, energy getting about. So it's like you're just with a bunch of, of dudes. So I was like, no. Nah, I had, like, two drinks and I was done. Oh, okay. 
But, uh, but it's a good day, though. It's Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. It's just like the perfect script, isn't it? Yeah. It would have been frothing. I'm happy for my guy, Trev. <laughs> I'm happy for my guy, Trev. He deserves it, man. And um, Is Taylor it? Taylor's it, bro. That's You know me, tall, blonde girls, all brunettes. Um, <laughs> Take away the su success. Yeah, she's beautiful. Mm. I think... Um, but the success is a part of the pizzazz. Yeah, like, Andrew, I agree. You can't, like when people say take away this, take away that, like, yeah, she's still going to be a hot chick when she's, but she, the fame is the fame and like the songs and all the accolades is just like, it's sexy when a girl gets after it, you know? Yeah. They probably could say the same about them Kelsey boys too, if they didn't play football and money, Hard. just be like normal dudes. Hard, yeah. Which makes them cool, I reckon. Hard. Their podcast hits like Rogan numbers now. <laughs> yeah, they're number one in the world. Fuck. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you reckon that's why Reagan's coming back to YouTube? Yeah, for sure. Mm. I think that's one of the reasons why. Because you, you, you put it all like just on one. On I, Spotify. I'm happy that Spotify let them do that because you lose so much. You lose so much numbers. Oh, 100%. Like he's been away for like two years. I don't reckon I've watched a full Rogan interview since he's left. Uh, I've just been watching little snippets and shit. Yeah, all the shorts still get yeah. posted on. Yeah, so. it's good. It's good that he's going back. It, it, it was a must. Mm. Because you die down, bro. You die down. People are like, oh, no, I'm not signing up to that. I'll just watch the snippets on YouTube. Do you know YouTube's the biggest music streaming platform in, in the world yeah. too? Like Pump, Spotify and all that too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's where you want to be. you got to look at guys like Mr. Beast who's doing 100 million per, like, vlog. That was crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, that's insane, eh? What else we got here? Oh, yeah, obviously I put up a post today about Melbourne Rebels and administration. Obviously, it's not like breaking news. But where do you see rugby union in the next 10 years? Do you know what's hard? Because we come from New Zealand, so we've just always known rugby union to be so big. Yeah, and I, but you know what I think? This is how I see it. I don't – I look at – the All Blacks are the All Blacks, but I don't think like – the All Blacks are who they are unless there's a rivalry with Australia. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, like, it just builds. It builds, obviously, builds the energy around rugby and stuff like that. But when there's like that that rivalry, it's it's just good for the game. You know, it's good for both both sides. So when they were like getting smoked at the World Cup and like you know all these coaches getting fired and all these things, it like it sucks. I hate seeing it because it's like. It affects the because I when I think of it, I go, oh, it affects the All Blacks. Yeah, it does. That's yeah, 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 yeah. It affects like just rugby in general because like when they're like losing to like some of these teams, are like fuck me. Yeah, it sucks. I don't see how they get out of it. To be honest, like they're gonna got money coming through with the Lions. Obviously, Rugby World Cup's gonna be in Australia, so that's gonna pump the economy and and ARU for a bit of money. But if they don't now, like say if they don't make the finals or quarterfinals in that Rugby World Cup round, it starts with if if rugby. If rugby is going to be saved, it starts with like an attitude change. From where the top? From the top, yeah. So like whenever you've been, whenever I've been around rugby union clubs or rugby union, like at the, like when you go into the Wallabies thing, when we go, even when we go play basketball, there's like a, um, the egos are fucking insane. Like the egos in rugby union are insane. Like the coaches and any even club rugby like think they're in, like their shit doesn't stink like the players really? fucking oath yeah there's like a divide between islanders and and i like i don't I, I can read a room like there was no tomorrow and i've ripped in with a few of the wallaby islander players and i won't name names but there is a divide in cultural differences between the players in like for the all blacks everyone's like together you know what I mean? It helps when you're winning, though, eh? It helps yeah. when you're winning, but, like, it's just... It's a time thing when with those... With two cultures, right? Like, Islanders and Kiwis have been... Maldives, Island Kiwis have been living together for ages. Playing together for ages. But here in Australia, you don't have... Like, you've got a lot of private school players playing out these ways, out east. And then you've got the Islanders either playing, you know, in Melbourne or, you know, Queensland... Or out west, mm. so like when you bring these two things together, like when you see it off the field, you don't—they're not really hanging out together. Mm. And you know, I think, um, to be honest, like I'd get rid of the rebels and probably Western Force, 
and just focus on Brumbies, Queensland. And so you got two uh, two teams there. They come into these other three teams. I think it makes their teams a lot stronger. Then you might better take on Crusaders or Chiefs and get a bit more success. And if you start beating them at Clubland, it's like all right, the All Blacks don't seem as intimidating anymore. Yeah, but I think club rugby here is still got a space. Like you look at the Wicks, you look at um, East Rugby Club. I think they've got a decent enough following, but if you put the, all the Wallabies back into there and build the content around there, I think it's a better way to go. And probably yeah. high school rugby is, is the way. Bro, high school rugby here is sick. Mm. Like, they, they get after it, and there are some amazing players, bro, but then they just get, like, zapped from somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, rugby league. Rugby <laughs> league. So I think, yeah, it starts from the top, and, like, and then also just building characters within the game, like, I honestly, I can name a few from old personal relationships, but like I could name more players from back in the day than I could name players now, you know? Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, and, like, and then that's because, I don't know if it's because of social, well, social media should probably know more, but back in the day, they were just. Like like some mornings down in Bondo, like I see Drew Mitchell, um, Adam Ashley Cooper, Curly Bill, like, I, know, like I, I walk past them and I know them and I remember, oh, God, fuck, these guys were guns and <coughs> say hello to, to some of the boys. But, <coughs> yeah, I had the Waratahs media manager guy and he reached out to me. He said, oh, would you mind interviewing some of the boys this year? And I was trying to think of who I could interview, but mm. I've, I've interviewed, like, Angus Bell, Mark, and Nawanga Nitawasi, mm. and they're kind of, like, the two best players. So I was just yeah. trying to think of, like, who else, who's next? And one's gone to fucking... Yeah, everybody. one's coming to the Roosters. Yeah, so it sucks, man. I, 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 think, I, would, I think I'd have to get in there. <laughs> get my hands on it <laughs> i always joke i always i always had these conversations when i'm ripping in because one of my one of my f friends as i was telling you he their family is embedded in that sort of stuff but <sighs> we've right. got a, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of um we've got a lot of work to do oh, that's for, for sure. sure might be gone bro it might be gone in 10 years in this country japan will probably start to take off france will get it bigger I honestly believe that I could save ARU. No. I, I genuinely, like, I do. As crazy as that sounds, I think that's why I was put on this earth. <laughs> to save the ARU. To save rugby, to save rugby Australia. And I know it sounds crazy. I know it does. But by golly, I tell you what, you give me the reins, I'll get us there. <laughs> I'll get us there. All right, guys, I'm uh, going to jump into the Q&A section, reached out, picked the four best questions. So shout out who's been following our Instagram page. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok now. There's a big bright green thing. Uh, I'll start posting some more content on there. Started off on fire. Some of the TikTok ones are going really great. So uh, make sure you follow us there on those platforms. But Q&A time is where you thrive. This is where you belong. I, belong I was saying this in the car today. I was like, I don't know why so many people come to see me and ask them for advice. <laughs> I've got the Q and A's, man. <laughs> I've got the Q and A's. Pizzazz. All right, uh, but a couple of Kiwis boys are heading to Magic Round for their first trip. Advice for the lads: Stay together, stay together, stick together. Watch out for Aussie girls. You know what I mean? They, they, they get after it. <laughs> they party harder than than guys. Aussie, Queensland chicks party harder than dudes. So. Do that, but stick together, man. Stick together. I reckon. Don't go. What was that? What's that? Val is it the valley? Yeah, Fortune Valley. Don't <laughs> go to the valley. That was all right. Nah, it's the, it's a very young crowd there. I mean, how old are the boys? You know, oh. probably in their mid twenties. I reckon. Mid twenties, yeah. I I don't reckon go to the valley. I reckon go to the like, the pubs like where we went to like Caxton. Caxton. Do you obviously got to do the Caxton run to, to roll into the Friday night game? I think that's always a cool one. The poker room at the Caxton gets a lot of action, so take like a couple of couple of hundred bucks there. Yeah, it can set your weekend up really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I th I don't like being around for all the games. Like we would just nah. pick and choose all the games you go to. Maybe watch like a game and one a half. game a day. Yeah, game and a half max. Like watch the last round of the before the big game, then watch that, and then just go straight out. Yeah. Do your best. Yeah. Try to get accommodation close to city or yeah, it's, 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 Brisbane set up pretty well. Yeah, where we where we stayed by the casino. That was cool. That was nice. Mm. That was a cool spot. Mm. That was a big trip, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that was crazy. Oh, glad those days are done. Dusty. That was that was crazy. Those days are crazy. I lost my keys. Find someone to sort straight away. <laughs> yeah, get on top of that, eh? <laughs> 
Accommodation, who saw The pizzazz. <laughs> uh, question number two, how do I move on for a tox from a toxic relationship? I still miss it. You simply don't. Don't move on. Keep trying to fix it. <laughs> nah. Uh, move on from a toxic relationship, man. Just go to the gym, get after it, get sexy. Feel comfortable within yourself. Get away from it, man. Is the get the fuck away from it. Is the best way to get back at an ex is to show them you're happy? Nah, it's not, it's not even about getting back at your ex. It's about just being happy. Isn't it? Nah, it's not, man. Hmm. It's, not, it's really not, bro. But it would be nice. Just to have one more lap. <laughs> one, more, one more lap around the field. One more, one more time under the lights, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it's fuck. Just, just get after it, bro. Don't, you know, the reason why you miss someone is because you just, you just, you're just not fully happy within yourself. Do you know that? Yeah. What makes relationships toxic? What makes relationship to relationships toxic is one either you're insecure about yourself, uh, or two. Um, lack of trust is a big one. Lack of trust, yeah. Because without trust comes comes control. But that, yeah, that's just insecurity straight off the bat. And I'm talking from experience. Because mm. like me, I was very insecure. But without knowing it, you know, like just and then that then seeps out into uh, trust. Seeps. So <laughs> good word. Um, yeah. So I think, man, like, yeah, just don't miss anyone. Just miss, miss, miss. Miss the old you and your family. That's it. <laughs> it's um. I feel like it's good to feel through those moments because you know if you just block it out, I think it comes back up later. Or no? Yeah, I think so. But like you, you don't block it out. You just you like you you sort of look at the situation, and instead of like looking out, look in, and that's where you get the answers. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a good answer. Is that what I said to you back in? The no, day? you didn't say any of that back in the day. <laughs> Um, tips for silent treatment How to deal with it <laughs> Tips for silent treatment This is a good question Sing Sing as loud as you can <laughs> Walk around the house and sing What's the worst thing Sorry I'll reframe this What's the worst thing You can just say to someone when they, when they got silent When you're getting silent treatment This is the worst thing You could do right It's like you Walk past They're like Like Are you You're good and Like yeah 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 And then They're like yeah I'm fine like come back you're like you sure you're good and they're like yes i'm fine yeah, and then this is the worst thing you go oh all right what's wrong like you're right like, what's wrong then come on like talk to me what is it and then just like off like fuck off best thing you can do with silent treatment is the dishes <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> just do the dishes. dishes take the rubbish out like do some chores around the house <laughs> Fuck, fold the washing vacuum and then just walk past, boom, like this. Walk past, say, Shorty's sitting on the couch. Walk past, you're vacuuming. Put the vacuum back. It's probably a Dyson. And you just walk past and you go, kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> just walk past, go, and kiss her on the forehead and keep keep vacuuming. <laughs> that would actually work, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go, knucklehead. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. So, but that's after you've done the dishes. That's after you've like vacuumed and and like m like wiped down the benches and like folded <laughs> some towels. You know what I mean? <laughs> Open the windows up. Mm. Maybe take the dogs for a walk, a little shampoo for the cavoodle. <laughs> and then just while she's watching TV, she's probably sitting on the couch like this, just like legs up like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just leaning across on the thing like this. Tell me, so Do you mind? Can you stop like breathing so loud? And you're just like, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. You know when and you then, get that last little smirk when they when they start to turn, you get yeah. a little smile. Yeah, no, you didn't do these ones like, hey, what? Do you want me to chuck these towels away? Or like, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, just put them up there. And you're like, oh yes, yes, yes. Like looking busy as, and then while you walk, then you walk past, and then you just sort of like pretend you're picking something up. Kiss her on the <laughs> kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> Works a treat, man. <laughs> Can you can't stop kissing my mic. <laughs> Nick minute, sit on it. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be kissing it. <laughs> oh, that was good, bro. That was one of your best ones. 
it, what was if you're angry too? What's something you can say to him to like make him a bit angrier? You know what I mean? That, that Wait. Take it communication. <laughs> nah. I'm so calculated now. I don't even think like that anymore. <laughs> I'm really calculated so now. You, you're going against your natural instincts. Okay. Nah. <laughs> Tash, I can't. I look at you because I just can't do this anymore. Like, no. you know what I mean? I'm trying to like just have a conversation with this guy and help because <laughs> I guarantee you all these questions he asked. <laughs> these are his questions. Mm. Uh, wait, so what? You reckon if I'm angry? Say if you're like, say you're getting silent treatment, you want to make him just get a reaction and it doesn't have to be a positive one. Probably let's swing towards a negative one. We've done a, a great version of, of replying. Okay. What's, what's one way to get a reaction? Okay, if you really want to get a reaction out of someone is if you're in a mood, right? Majority of the time, chicks wants to do something. Like, whether it be like, hey, let's, can we go for a walk or can we do this or could like do something around the house and stuff like that. And you're just like, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> and then you just sit there like this, trackies on, no undies on, cock to cloth fucking playstation controller in hand and you're like nah i'm sweet and you just get the get your headphones boom put them on and just look at the tv like this and then they're just gonna be like are you serious and you're like come on man like seriously stop busting my chops <laughs> and then just walk past kiss her on the forehead <laughs> <laughs> no but <laughs> yeah you want to get a reaction out of someone, go missing for two days. <laughs> Turn the phone off. Yeah. PTSD. <laughs> My phone was flat. Um, last question. I want to take things beyond our current sex rotation. How do I ask it without sounding weird? Like, how do you spice it up or? Yeah, that'll be, that'll be how it's framed. Mm. I mean, we'll just say that a chick's asked this question, mm. right? It's a guy. Okay. Well, we'll just say, for example, it's a girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> you obviously want to be respectful, but sometimes, guy or girl, this is not specific to the question, but uh, the person, but female or male, go searching around a little bit. You know, have you like you've ever lost something in the side of the couch? Go searching during. During. You so, know what I mean? So you saying don't ask before, just go. Searching. I mean, depending on the situation, like if it's like it, these guys have obviously been, you know, having sexual intercourse for quite some time. So this is like it's not like a disrespectful search around. Mm. You know, you know them. You built the rapport to be able to do that. Don't go doing that on the first date or something like <laughs> first time. It's a bit weird, but like <laughs> you know, like or just have plain and simple have the have the conversation straight away. Hey. Cock my legs back. <laughs> Eat my ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, be honest, be straight to the point. And if it weirds them out, just be like, hey, like, that's gotcha. what I'm into. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm just joking. Laugh it off. Nah, I'm just, jo I'm just joking. <laughs> if they're like, what the hell? You know, can I suck your toes? Shit like that. Mm. And that's, I'm not going off experience. I'm just, I'm just simply putting myself in the mind of you the guys. The listener. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I want to learn more, you know what I mean? I want to try new things. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I think that's our last question. Anything to wrap up? When are you catching up with Cabra Streisand? <laughs> <coughs> you know, if if something comes <laughs> of this, <laughs> I, I won't let you be there until I'm ready. I'll be there. <laughs> I'm catching up with her on Sunday, I think, for a walk, but um, I don't know, hopefully... What time? I don't know, maybe I might be a little bit hungover if I, de if I decide to rip in on this wedding. Mm. Um, it's too hard not to on a wedding, I reckon. Yeah. It's one of the great places to drink. Yeah, yeah. It's... I'm just like... Just getting yeah. the weddings knowing they're not going to work out. Yeah, it's like when you've seen too much, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you hear the speeches and you sort of look at you look, look at your mate's grandmother and go, get a load of this, kiss her on the forehead. You know what I mean? You're you're just there to try and have sex with someone. <laughs> the great weddings. <laughs> weddings are a horny place, man. Uh, for sure. 
you're like this, like, wow, wow. You're sitting next to like a girl or like you're sitting next to a guy, like you're looking up at and you just like let a tear come out. They're like, oh, that's so cute. And you're like, damn, I envy these guys, man. Mm -hmm. I really do. I really envy these guys. Mm. Neck minute. Hey, 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 <laughs> yeah. hey. Wedding crashes. One of the great scripts. Wedding Crashes is one of the greatest movies of our time. I can watch that back, like, I've watched Wedding Crashes, I reckon, 50 plus times. Mm. Hungover. <laughs> Fuck. I wish they made more movies, those boys, together. Yeah, man. Those are two of the, like, What's one the Google of the one called? Google. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Are you sure? It's called Google. Oh. Be working on the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of the great movies, eh? <laughs> yeah. Had me thinking, got me thinking. You got a bit of a Vince Vaughn about you? That, a lot of... <laughs> bro. Because people said that? He's told me that. Vince when I was oh, partying he, with him and Mel Gibson one time in um, Double Bay. He would, I, I seen him one night. I think I must have been the night you were there. Down in um, Palacano? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I remember, Pally, Pally, yeah. I remember walking past like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's a unit too. He's a yeah, big, big boy. Yeah, big boy. Yeah, no, a lot of people say if I was an actor, I'd be Vince Vaughn. Mm. Vince Vaughn or um, what's that cunt's name? He's on. Um, Don't say someone cool. I know what you're doing. Nah, he's on um, Saving Private Ryan. What's that? Dude's Tom Hanks. No, nah, not Tom Hanks. He's the um, Matt Damon. Nah, he's too cool for you. You need a big Gumby thing. I'd be Will Ferrell or, or Vince Vaughn. Yeah, I can see that. Like the the big big lovable idiot. awkward. Okay, I wouldn't say a lovable yeah. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the big Gumby, the big lovable idiot. <laughs> oh, you know what? Thank you. I appreciate your kind words. No, that's what you are. You're the big lovable no. idiot. You're the big dopey dopey man there, like bumps into no, shit. No, that's not me though. That's takes not a me. shit on your carpet. <laughs> that's <laughs> not me. Takes a shit on your carpet when you invite him into your home. That's, that's you. That's the old man. That's not me anymore. <laughs> I can respect you saying that now, but I'm more of a. I'm more of a. Uh, calculated forehead kisser <laughs> just kissing <laughs> foreheads and calculating <laughs> shit yeah you know what i mean the fast lane man that's where we are now so keep an eye out, keep an eye out for the subscription model coming through <laughs> seven bucks a month mm. and all you can eat eat what knowledge <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thanks for tuning in appreciate your time uh thanks for me appreciate it likewise bro <laughs> See you.